There's my hand, there's my hand. Oh, it's chilly this morning, not like yesterday. 32 now, so it's just at that freezing number. Uh, it is Sunday morning for another half an hour. We're heading to Silver Beach Pizza to have pizza. More importantly, during the off season, on Sundays, they have $5 Bloody Marys, which my dad needs to partake in, he says. So, uh, not my deal. But he loves them. And uh, so last week I said, on Sunday, do you want to go get Bloody you want to go get Bloody Marys at Silver Beach? He goes, yes. <laughs> so we're gonna get there, they open at noon. So we always get there right around the time they open and get out before, because it's always usually busy on the weekends. Especially during the main season. Holy heck, because it's right there by the beach. Um, so yeah, that's our plan today. It's pretty out, but it's still cold. Dad opened the front door yesterday just for a minute to put something out for the birds. And I could feel that like cold air come zooming through the house and everyone's like, hurry up, man, that stuff is cold. I guess the coldest it got yesterday with wind chill was two. And then it slowly creeped up like eight or nine. But it was a cold mofo yesterday. Uh, I thought the dogs were out over there, but there's a newspaper floating across their yard. <laughs> but all right, we're off. Here's where we're at. Silver Beach Pizza. And then we always order this pizza, the Whirlpool Wonder. But I wanna look at the appetizers and see if they got anything interesting there. Dun, dun, dun. This is why Dad wanted to come. They have this five dollars every Sunday in the off season, so now he's got his his I bloody beer. Have two of them. Two I have two. Yeah. I'm having Rudis Beerus. So yeah, you even a piece of there. pizza on there. Pizza, <laughs> pizza pickle, yeah. celery. Uh, he's got a meal on his drink. Pepperoni, olives, yeah. pepper. All right, now we're gonna look at the menu again. This is right on the tracks, and there's a train going by right now. Freight train. <laughs> there's also a passenger train depot here for Amtrak, so a lot of trains go by here. For appetizer, we got deep fried pickle spears. I like them better in ranch. I don't like them in the marinara that well. So yeah, and the train is still cruising. Right off my damn pizza. pizza. Right well, you should have used the little thing to get it out with. I did, but it fell off. Of oh, there's our pizza. Yummy, yummy. Stopped over by the lake because Dad wanted to see if there's fishermen out on the south pier. And we see a few of them speckled along there, but they've got to be cold. They've got to have really cold faces because it's chilly, willy. Little breeze, some white caps, people walking on the beach. Yeah. Pretty. 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 But I'm not getting out there. All right. We came down to this end of this one parking lot. I usually go around the road down there, but too much sand in the road. Sand, they're constantly dealing with it. Pushing it back, moving it around. But yeah, look at all the little white caps out there. To the eye, the water is very green looking today. So, yeah. But now I'm gonna reverse up out of here. Guess who had a two hour nap this afternoon? Guess who woke somebody up from a two hour nap this afternoon? Where'd you go? That one. But it was a really good nap. We just had leftover pizza for dinner. I'm getting ready to have my two, last two jellied fruit things I got at the Asian store. It's like jello shots with no alcohol. But there's little chunks in them. And I just dropped one on the floor. But I'll see you tomorrow. The wonderful Monday. Happy Monday. Uh, a bit of a strange story. I talked to my cousin Ronnie earlier today, reminding him to tomorrow morning. I said, What time are you supposed to be here tomorrow? What time's our appointment? He goes, You're going to have to remind me. I said, 10 o'clock. He goes, Okay, I'll get there early. That way he can hook up into my Wi Fi and all that stuff and we're ready for when our Zoom meeting is for this new software we're looking at. Um, and then I handed him over to Dad for a minute. Dad was talking to him, and he hands he hands it back. He goes, 
here, he's got a, he's got a story. I'm like, what's happening? Uh, quite a few years ago, uh, just down the road from our shop, a guy who knew Ron was getting divorced. His wife was going to try and take, hey, do not, Kitty was trying to chomp on my cord. No, no cord for you. Um, his wife is going to try to take half the house. And they did a settlement. So Ron, he, and this guy could not afford to buy the house. He had bad credit. So, wait a minute. I have, I have a big problem. Go over on this side. There, I made her come over there. Um, my hair's all over the place. So, Ron bought the house. And became this guy's landlord. They settled with money for the wife and all this stuff. So he's been this man's landlord for I don't know how many years now. I mean, Ron's also become the landlord of a couple of our employees because he's bought houses for our employees. Because um, Ron's a nice guy. He's a, he is a really nice guy. And so <clears throat> I get on the phone. I'm like, what happened? He goes, he starts talking. I'm like, okay, who are we talking about? And then it's this house down the road from the shop guy named Brian um, apparently he had a he's 40 and apparently he had a roommate who's like in his 50s like 57 and a girlfriend I don't know if it's the roommate's girlfriend or if it's Brian's girlfriend I do not know but yesterday afternoon about 3 30 Brian and this roommate got into an argument which resulted in the roommate shooting Brian Troy twice and killing him the police came Ryan was dead on the scene. They arrested the guy who did it. And so this is going to be a, a mess also for Ronnie because he doesn't know what to do now with his house. Uh, so it's a bit of a situation. I, it's just crazy. It's just crazy how it went down. I just don't understand people. I don't get it. I don't know how an argument could be so bad that you just pull out a gun and shoot somebody a couple times. It's just crazy. I've seen it on the news a couple times. They haven't released his name. I don't even know who the who the shooter's name is. I just know they keep referring to him as a 57-year-old male who is now in custody in jail, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that was a little crazy story from the weekend. I'm all caught up on my work for right now. Uh, a little later, I'm going to play in the kitchen. I'm going to make spaghetti and meatballs. I'm going to use the Reos marinara sauce, but I'm going to make it into a meat sauce. Um, but I'm also going to make... What are you, now what are you going to go do? Hey, she's just been snooping around and doing things she shouldn't do. But all right. Other than that, it's been a pretty mellow, nice day. Uh, boy, I, I have a whole stack of work orders going out in the next few months. What are you doing? Did you, you come out from behind there? Hey? Hey? She just stares at me like, what? What, lady? But alright. I'll probably be back later. Maybe I'll film her here and there when I'm in the kitchen later. I gotta look up a meat. I've never made homemade meatballs, so this is gonna be a new endeavor. Hey, what are you doing? Are you gonna be good now? Not try to eat my cords? Yeah? That's what she used to do over the Christmas tree. She didn't. She hasn't done it the last few years. The first year we had a Christmas tree, she didn't care about the tree or the ornaments. She wanted to, she chewed the cord. Dad had to splice our light cord a couple times because somebody shorted up the lights. You're lucky you didn't get shocked and electrocuted, you know that? She doesn't bother it anymore. Thank goodness. Right? Thank goodness. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Bye! Well, I started playing in the kitchen. That's going to be meatballs here in a little bit. Got some breadcrumbs, which is really crushed up crackers. Some parsley. Onion and garlic powder. 
I gotta get Parmesan out of the fridge, a couple beaten eggs, and the skillet I have, onions, mushrooms, hamburger, and a little bit of garlic powder. I'm getting ready to put my sauce in there and just let that simmer on low. So then I will play, I gotta, I gotta preheat the oven. The 350 for my meatball. Okay, here I put in some Parmesan, garlic powder, garlic, uh, onion powder, some parsley, those breadcrumbs, and I'm getting ready to beat up a couple eggs. I just kind of eyeballed it, and then I'm going to get my hands dirty and make balls, so I'll be back later. Well, here they are. Meatballs going in the oven for about a half an hour, and I'll start, I'll probe them to see. The internal temperature's got to get up to 165, I guess, and that's when they're done. So, hopefully they come out good. There's my spaghetti and meatballs and bread. I'll probably won't eat all this, but we'll see. Let's see if Dad's he doesn't he just got spaghetti and sauce so far. He's getting his tea. His tea I love fix. My tea. He does. That teapot has made many pots of tea in the tea maker. Many, many, many gallons. Many gallons. Okay, now dinner time. I took the rest of our sauce and pasta and meatballs and stirred it all up in this pan. Oh, we'll probably feed Ronnie lunch tomorrow and guess what he'll have. <laughs> so yeah, dad loves him some spaghetti. We both have about more than half of our dinners left for tomorrow for lunch. Now, time to lay down. She's already beat me. She's already chilling. Full belly. Leftovers for lunch. I could take a nap, but it's only like six o'clock so I gotta force my maybe I'll watch a movie are you dirty just trying not to let my anxiety get revved up because of all the stuff going on tomorrow so I'm very much a creature of habit when I have something that works for me and works well I like to stick with it but I know it doesn't work for the whole company so I know we have to make a change but man it's starting to get so busy so fast I'd really wanted to do it in the fall, but Ron's real pushing for now, so we'll see what happens. But I'm going to get all these clips together. I'll probably turn them on tomorrow morning, so you'll see this on Tuesday. Oh, here she comes to say hello. You waking up? Did you get a good nap? She never even came in to beg anything off of us for dinner. She totally missed dinner. Okay, bye.